this particular program is going to help people with their sinus, with their eustachian tube dysfunction, possibly tinnitus or ringing in the ears, as well as maybe vertigo. Now, sinuses and tinnitus can be related, as Diane is asking us right here. Yes, very, very much related. Let's go over here. If you look right here, you can see the sinus area on the left. And from an x-ray area, or even a CAT scan, we can see sinuses uh, on the x-ray that are actually red. That's not really red on an x-ray. We're just pointing it out red to show that there's inflammation. So when inflammation happens in those sinuses, you, behind the nasal area, we have the eustachian tubes. Okay, I'm going to show you in just a second. But let me show you the perinasal sinuses. You have four of them, and they're all interconnected. The perinasal sinuses, the frontal sinus is up on top. The ethmoidal sinus is back in the middle up on top, and the maxillary sinus is the cheekbones, and the sphenoidal is way in the back. Okay, so we have different sinuses, but they all work together. So these sinuses have to drain that if you have a, a, a frontal sinus or a sphenoid sinus or eth ethmoidal sinus or sphenoid sinus in the back, or if you have maxillary sinus, we usually see it more in here, we get congested, we get pain, it can affect our ears, we, we get like this popping sound, uh, and it can become very chronic. There are many things that can cause this. Foods that you eat, stuff that you breathe in, maybe you have a little deviation of a septum, uh, maybe it's dust mites, maybe it's uh, things in the air, uh, there's a lot of things that can cause sinus. Uh, so look right here, last picture, and then I'll explain a little bit what we're going to do. Here's the eustachian tubes. I drew that arrow so you can see that arrow. That is the eustachian tube that comes from behind the nose and makes its way to the middle ear, okay? That goes directly to the middle ear. Now, from the middle ear, that then goes to the inner ear, which then connects through a nerve to the brain that allows that connection to work. Now, if the connection of the eustachian tube to the middle ear is off, and the function of the eustachian tubes is to balance the outside pressure and the inside pressure. So when you're in an airplane and you notice that pressure is high or changes, or when you go under sea level, if you're a diver or if you've been underwater, you feel that popping, it's because the pressure is off between the outside and the middle ear. So if the eustachian tube becomes inflamed or irritated, it becomes clogged. And so now that pressure becomes off between the outer and inner side. And as a result of that, we don't get its draining. It could be that popping, that pain, that discomfort, tinnitus, because remember, the entire eardrum from the outer ear to the middle ear to the inner ear to the brain are all interconnected. So anywhere along that pathway, you can get stuffiness in there and cause these symptoms. So this is a simple ear adjustment technique. And this is something that I developed a lot of proficiency in over the years. So instead of me calling it an adjustment, we're going to call it an impulse. And what we'll do is this. I want everyone just to... Don't do the technique. Let me just show you. If we grab the bottom part of the ear and we pull it down, we don't really feel a whole lot. Do it. Just pull it down lightly. If you grab the bottom part of the ear and you pull it out, you'll feel a little more pressure back in here. Now, if you grab the same part of the ear and you pull it out and a little bit up, you can feel that tension, a lot more tension in there as compared to when you pulled it out or when you pulled it out and down. So from that perspective, I just want you to understand that. Now, as we pull the ear, which I'm going to show you how to do, we are causing a neurological bombardment from the ear to the brain. The brain sends messages to the eustachian tubes that causes a reflex that can open up the eustachian tube. And immediately, we can then get drainage. As we get drainage, if it's tinnitus, if it's sinus, if it's nasal congestion, or any of those symptoms that are interrelated with the ear or the sinuses, you then can hopefully see a miracle real quick. Now that we have a better understanding of the ear, how it works, the eustachian tubes, everything works together, let's do it 
This is what I want to do. Deanna, you're going to go first, okay? Okay. Uh, you, you can watch for next, Misty. Okay. What we'll do, we, let's grab the lower ear. ear. Now, we're going to primarily do the, the, if you have any congestion, we're going to do that side first because you can actually do both of them. Let's say I'm really congested on the right side. Um, that's the side we're going to work on, uh, okay. and that's the side we'll do. So we'll take the lower ear, the lower part of the lobe, and we'll take the tension out. When I say tension out, just take it to where it doesn't go anymore. Not hard. Okay. Okay. And so what we'll do is that when we impulse it, we'll do three impulses. And the impulse, watch me first, the impulse will be out and slightly up. This is what it will look like if I go in slow motion. Okay. okay. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Okay. So this is what it looks like regular. Ready? One, two, three. That's it. Go ahead. Good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Just hold off and wait a, wait a couple of seconds. Just relax. I can definitely feel it. You feel, you can feel a stimulation yeah. and over the next 15, 20 minutes, you'll feel drainage in most okay. people. Okay. Go ahead and try it, Missy. Which is your, which is your involved side? Any, any particular area gives you more problem? My ears are always clogged and I do have the ringing in the ear. Okay. Let's do, let's do both of them. Okay. You could do your other side, Deanna. Let's no, you do one at a time though, Misty. Okay. Remember, take the lower eardrum, pull the tension out. Three or four, one, nice and firm. Two, boom. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Your ear won't come out. Go ahead. Take the tent. There you go. One more time. Beautiful. Just stay put for a second. What you usually will feel, you'll feel right in the sinus here. Now, people in the background, don't do it yet. Let's get you up here. Now, a lot of times you'll get dripping in the throat. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling now. Okay. You'll get that dripping. But this is a really cool, simple reflex. And 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 the reason why I really appreciate you guys coming on because people love watching other people doing this. Feels Trust me, they love it. Really you, you feel warmth? Any warmth? Mm -hmm. Like a sensation? It's yeah. kind of cool though. I mean, yeah. you're not do, you're not doing much, but you're getting a lot. So people are going to ask, how often should you do this? Don't be doing it all day. I just recommend if you do it a couple of times a day. Cause you don't want to start, you know, tugging on too hard, but obviously you're not going to do it to the point of pain. You're going to do it to the point of to where you get proficient, but the faster and shorter impulse it is like boom, 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 don't be fast, but boom, boom, boom. Rather than the, that impulse is what you want because that's where you're going to send that bombardment to the brain. I just want to uh, send my love to everyone out there and uh, keep up the great work out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share this video because it will help a lot of people, I promise you. We did a similar video in a different several, a different uh, one several years ago. It got several million hits. People loved it. It really helped a lot, a lot of people. So anyways, God bless you. Keep giving the love, sharing the love. And uh, I really think that uh, we're all going to get through this, this, these times real quick. So just hang in there, be tight, and uh, we'll keep giving you those great videos for you and your family. God bless everyone.